Well, good morning. Hope you're doing well today. I am so thankful today for my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, and the way he has blessed me and my family so richly. And, and I know today I fall far short praising him enough and thanking him enough for what he has done. And I pray today that you're, you're thankful and you uh, often praise him in prayer and, and in the life that we live. That's one way we can really praise him is to live the Christian life. I want to talk to you this morning found in the Old Testament in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 5, 6, and 7. It says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Look at this here. Love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. That means everything that is in with, within us, we need to love the Lord with every bit of our being and with every bit of our energy and our strength. He must be number one. It says, God seeks fellowship with his people and gives them this one indispensable command which will attach him or them to him by responding in love and gratitude and loyal to him for his love. Friends, God must be number one. When he gave us the Ten Commandments, the very first one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And he said, these words which I command thee this day you shall have in thine heart and keep them there. But then he said, don't just leave them there. He said, I want you to go forth today. He said, and teach them to your children diligently. In other words, continually with effort. Make, a, make the time to teach them to your children. And, and grandparents, I want to bring it out to you because I'm one. Listen, number one, our children never get too old to be talked to about the Lord. My mom and dad constantly talk to us on up in age about how to love the Lord and serve the Lord. And then we as grandparents are not free once we get grandparents' age. We continually teach our children. And then it's our, you know, the parents should teach the child. But I think as grandparents, we too must teach the grandchildren about the Lord. And he said, you'll teach them diligently unto thy children. And listen, not only that, he said, but you shall talk about them when you're in thine house. When you're out in those, he said, walketh by the way. When you're out at work, when you're out in town, when you're, out of the house and you're doing something somewhere in some way you constantly are talking about jesus christ and that don't mean we can't ever talk about a ball game or a race or things like that but when the opportunity presents itself we must talk about the word of god he said but when you when you talk when you walk it by the way when you lie down and when you rise this up we must constantly when given the opportunity take the time to talk about jesus christ he says these words that for is God's desire that these words be in the heart of his people and let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom we found in Colossians. And this can only be accomplished, it says, by daily and continually abiding in the spirit, in the word of God, in the scriptures that Jesus has given us in his word. But then he says, take these that you have now and take them and teach them to your children that they may know the way. Listen, it's not up to the preacher to teach our children. It's not up to that Sunday school teacher to teach our children. Lord knows we can't take wait for them at school because they're teaching them things that's not in the Word of God. It is up to the parents. It starts at home. It starts in the house. It is up to the mom and the dad, the grandmother and the grandfather, to teach your children the Word of God. And if we'll do that, the Bible says if you'll train up a child, and the way he should go, and then he'll not depart from it. Doesn't mean they'll always live the life they need to live. I can vouch for that. I was raised in a Christian home, but I'd, I wandered off out into the world. But when I was out there, I knew what I was doing was wrong. And in the end, I came back. So today, folks, are we taking the time to teach the Word of God to our families? Number, number two, are we loving the Lord with all of our heart, with all of our might, and with all of our soul? Folks, we must do that if we expect to help change people's lives with the Holy Spirit leading and guiding us. Lord, I thank you today that you love us and that you care for us and that you are constantly 
teaching us the right way and the way you would have us to live and the way that we can be productive for the kingdom of God. Lord, I pray today that we'll take your word, we'll put it in our being, we'll put it in our heart, we will love you with all our heart, might, body, and soul, but God, that we'll also teach our families, our children, our grandchildren, our friends, our loved ones, our neighbors, what thus saith the word of God. And Lord, that we'll lead somebody to you to be saved and one into the family of God. Lord, be with us this day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. May God richly bless you.